Hey guys, last night was really interesting, and of course, something of value to everybody. I mean, decision making. Is, is this the start? Decision making. <laughs> is this it? This is it. Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> but, but you want to talk about... So, that's, you know, better decisions, fewer regrets. I mean, obviously, they relate to each other. The more, the more good decisions you make, <laughs> the fewer dumb things you're going to do and have regrets over. Um, but you know, when you think about life, what are some of the hard things to do in life? And don't answer decisions, yeah. but what are some of the hard things about life? I mean, um, I think moving or cha like changing, changing. Either a, a job, a career, a location, those yeah. can be pretty hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, I mean, obviously there's stress. Even if it's exciting, something exciting's happened in your mm -hmm. life and you're moving for a good reason, yeah. you know? Um, really, it, it, very stressful, you know? That's one of the things we, we really don't look forward to. What's, what's another hard thing about life? Getting married. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Uh-oh. There'll be a sermon coming on this. <laughs> that's <one>. right. Relationships. <laughs> well, that's a big, no, that's a big decision. Yeah. That's a big decision. Yeah. And I said, it, I said it Sunday, you know, if you're going to be, if you're even thinking about getting married, you'd better consult God. This had better be the will of God. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you know, don't just lean on your own understanding on that one. What do they say? The only worse thing than not being married but wanting to be is being married and not wanting to be. Whoa, oh I goodness. never heard that before, yeah. but that makes sense. He's, yeah. he's probably quoted that quite a few times. <laughs> he's going to use it in a future sermon <laughs> as well. I'm going to use it again. You can use it actually if you want. If yeah. you're going to talk about marriage. But you know, besides, besides decision making being a real hard task of life, because it's, it's involved in every day, is waiting. And we're not going to talk about waiting, but isn't waiting hard? Absolutely. Where you're, you, know, you feel like God is leading you in a certain direction, but he says not yet. That's tough. Very true. But when it comes to decision making, I mean, that's that's a challenge. And we make, I don't know where I saw this number, we make something like 20,000 decisions a day. That just seems too big. But but you actually do. Like if you're driving down a road, you have yeah. to think, do I turn left or turn right? Yep. Even if you already know the path, you're thinking, oh, there's traffic that way, I'll go this way. I've Sudden got, decisions. I've got errands. What am I going to do first? What am yeah. I going to hit there? Am I going to do that? Yeah, even this morning, coming in this morning, I had to stop at three places. And I wanted to time it just right because one place opened at 7.30, one opened at 8. I had to wait till 8 to get here. You know, that was, that was kind of rough. But so anyways, if you have to make a decision, what are some ways that we can make good decisions or make decisions? Um, you know, how, what would you tell somebody? Either one of you. I mean, whoever's ready. I mean, good. No, you're good. Yeah. I, I would say um, one of the good ways to make decisions is, is uh, really have... Have godly people in your life. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't have godly people in your life that you can bounce information off of or ideas or thoughts, I mean, that's, that's pretty lonely decision making. Yeah. Do you think people have people in their life that they really go to today? Uh, I think they have. I think they have them. I don't know if but, they go to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think people do. And yeah. you, you know, when I was a, just even as a young boy, I sought out neighbor, I'll say neighbor dads, older men, mm -hmm. just to talk, okay. to find out how to do things. You know what the right thing to do was. It's no. funny though in the video he talked about going to his father, who would never give him the answer. Yeah, he'd make him think <laughs> it out, you know, and to prepare him for the day that he has to make them yeah. on his own. Yeah, and that sounds good. I mean, you, but you don't you don't want to always give an answer to someone. Yeah, because right. then the weight and responsibility is on you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what if it's the wrong? Yeah, yeah right. And it might be the wrong answer because they didn't, the person didn't give you all the data. Sure. I've had people do that to me. Yeah. They don't tell you everything. The, the, the key thing. Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> and that's and that's the difference between giving, giving advice or wisdom to somebody that you know super yeah. well and somebody that you maybe know moderately well. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mean, I had I had a non-Christian neighbor back growing up, and I wasn't a Christian then either. And he, he told me how to make decisions. You take a piece of white paper, draw a line down the middle, Positive. pros, mm -hmm. cons, list them, whichever list is longer, that's the way you go. Mm -hmm. And I didn't buy it then, and mm -hmm. I, I don't buy it now <laughs> as a Christian, but you can start there. But at least it's something. Yeah. I mean, how, how do most people make decisions? How they feel, Yeah. path of least resistance, mm -hmm. Only what other people think. Not thinking. Yeah, just, <laughs> just uh, whatever is. Yeah, okay, this is easy. I'm gonna do that. Well, because your cons that you would list are what you feel is a con yeah. for you personally, and it yeah. might not be the best decision. Yeah. True. So I mean, that, that's kind of a worldly way to do it, but I wouldn't exclude that even as a Christian, because mm -hmm. you know, God, in the in the Word, Jesus said to love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, yeah. and all your strength. And so we, we can't just take the mind and throw it out and be, we're going to be more spiritual by not thinking this thing through. 
But we have to keep in the spiritual components, which is asking somebody who'd be wise counsel. Exactly. Okay. They're further down the road than you. They walk with God. Yeah. They, have, they show wisdom in their life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and another spiritual tool would be what? I mean, real obvious stuff, guys. Prayer? Yeah, prayer. Yeah. Just ask God. Just talk to God about it. Mm -hmm. You know, because one of the things, and we heard it last night, was that, you know, there was a tribe, of the tribes are coming to Israel, and they were pretending they were from far away. Mm -hmm. You know that story? <laughs> and, and really, what they did, they, they took their wineskins, made them look old, yeah. they beat up their Pretty sandals. Slick. Pretty slick. Yeah, and so, so Israel made a treaty with them, and they shouldn't have. Yeah. And where they failed is because they failed to consult God. Mm -hmm. That's where they, they made a purely intellectual mm -hmm. decision. And they fail to consult God. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's where prayer, talking to God, and obviously another one is the Word of God, right? Yeah. Whatever's Absolutely. written there, don't do something. Don't make a decision that's contrary yeah. to the Word. Yeah. Because, you know, God will not be mocked. Yeah. And like you said Sunday, there's a lot of things that are clearly written in the Scriptures. Yeah. You know, we talked about marriage this past Sunday, but there's a lot of things that are clearly written. You don't yeah. have to wonder about them. Or, yeah. Oh, here's another one for you, too. You, you had a clever phrase a minute ago. Um, I, I said something clever. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I don't remember right now, but Pastor Brandon will remind me. That's right. Um, but no, not making a decision can be a decision. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And boy, I've seen people get into analysis paralysis, mm -hmm. where they keep looking at the, the kid and they, and they just, they struggle and they struggle and they struggle. They just never move forward. Yeah. yeah. And so you miss an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know? That's so true. Um, any, any decisions you'd wish you'd made in the past that you missed? I mean, missed opportunities. Any decisions? That's a hard one. And you got it. I mean, it's you're a, on, And that's a personal one, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and here you are. You're on TV. <laughs> um, well, YouTube, anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think um, paid more closer attention to academics when I was, when I was a, in high school. Yeah. I really wish I had done... I wish you'd better. pay more attention. <laughs> I, wish, I, wish, I wish in general I would just pay more attention. I know, yeah. me too. When I think about it, really, I could have been so much more oh, yeah. of a better student. Yeah, I think if I could go back to high school yeah. now, yeah. oh man, I would. I, w I would have been like you. I would have played an instrument yeah. in high school oh, instead yeah. of doing all the sports. Yeah. Who cares? You know, am I playing football now? No. <laughs> love, I'd love to know more about the guitar. See, high school, I got through yeah. my college bachelor's degree. I got through, when I went to grad school, aced it. You know, I finally became a serious student. Yeah. And you know, well, what is it, what is it? Youth is wasted on the young. Yep, you know, youth so. is wasted. I gotta come up with the, I gotta, you gotta come, come up with, with something quote. Come on. Here, you know, but um, no, that's, that's really good too. Just those missed opportunities as, yeah. as a younger person. Yeah. And you can't turn back the clock, Yeah. you know. Hmm. But one I thought about. I was just, just going to ask about you. Yeah, I wish I bought Apple stock 30 years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm telling you. It's true. Or even Google, you know, when they started, you know, but true. I didn't even know how to spell Google back then when they started, you know. Because you couldn't Google it. I was, how it, do I right, spell couldn't Google? Google how to spell yeah. That's funny. I saw this guy one time using his Blackberry and he was texting. And I'm thinking to myself, texting? That's oh, not, yeah. not going to take off. What such is a fad. <laughs> Or even a even a BlackBerry. Oh my Does that make sense? Yeah, it just had the full keyboard, and I had to have it. Yeah, I got you. Oh man, some of those things missed opportunities. But anyway, so I mean, you can you can make bad decisions. You can choose to not make a decision and miss out. Um, but anyways, this is going to be a great. Well, we got five more weeks. It's going to be a great time together, uh, going through better decisions, fewer regrets. Okay. And next week we actually launch into one of the five that Andy Stanley is going to talk about. And that is the integrity question. So I hope you'll be with us next Wednesday. God bless.